Welcome back. It's time to take out your Skystormer handbooks. Today we're going to work on Red Jewel 1.1 and 1.2 together. Our lesson today is on the true meaning of Christmas. That's kind of silly considering that we're doing our Thanksgiving lesson today, but that's okay. It's important to know all year long what the real meaning of Christmas is. And since this is the next lesson in our handbook, that's the one we're going to do today. So your job for Jewel 1.1 is to bring a friend to a WANA club. That's a little hard to do right now because we're not meeting in person. But what you can do is you can share the video link with your friend and your friend can watch the lessons with you or watch the lessons at home. And if they register for club, then I can send them their very own handbook. Once you've done that, once you've invited a friend, Tell your grown-up helper and have them sign the book for you, even if your friend decides not to come. All right? Let's hey, Joel. I'm helping in the little kids' class this week. Will you listen to my Christmas lesson about Jesus' birth? Sure, Jacob. Go for it. A long time ago, on December 25th, in Wait Beth a minute, Jacob. We don't know the real day Jesus was born. People just decided to celebrate his birthday on Christmas Day, December 25th. Okay. A long time ago, on a day we don't know, Jesus Christ was born in a stable. Hold it! The Bible doesn't say anything about a stable. Some people think Jesus was born in a cave or in a family member's house. We don't know for sure. Fine. I'll start again. A long time ago, on a day we don't know, Jesus Christ was born and laid in a manger. The shepherds and the three wise men came to visit. Stop! The wise men didn't visit Jesus until he was at least a year old. By then, Mary and Joseph lived in a house. Plus, the Bible doesn't say how many wise men there were. There could have been three or maybe twenty. I give up. I guess I don't know anything about Christmas. Yes, you do, Jacob. Just tell the most important part. What's that? Tell what the angel said to the shepherds. Don't you remember? Jesus came to earth as our savior. That's the good news. That's what Christmas is all about. Luke 2, 10 through 11. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, verses 10 and 11 says, And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Those are really important words, so let's say them together one more time. Luke 2, 10 and 11. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. To finish this section, say Luke 2, 10 and 11 all by yourself to your grown-up helper and have them sign your handbook. Remember to fill out your weekly check-in so that I know that you finished it. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and Christmas.